Well, Josh, prosecutors say Christopher Druin has taken responsibility for what he has done, but the consequences of his actions have left one family devastated. How dare you take my son? The two men were once roommates, but Wednesday, Christopher Druin pleaded guilty to second degree murder and was sentenced for shooting Michael Welsh on the Gorham Town Common in April. Chris, you stole my life that day. And now I can no longer exist. I'm not whole. I'm just a shadow. I'm a ghost that floats through the days. Prosecutors say Druin drank half a bottle of whiskey that day and fired seven shots, two that struck Welsh in the head and chest. Prosecutors say Druin had once been involuntarily committed for a short time to the New Hampshire State Hospital, and he felt Welsh had been telling people about that, suggesting that may have been the motive for the murder. Chris, because of your decision to take the life of my son, You have single-handedly not only destroyed our life, but the lives of your family, too. I hope you stay in jail for the rest of your life. I want you to die. Druin also pleaded guilty today for the attempted murder of John Gillespie, the man who was with Welsh that day on the common. Gillespie was unhurt. Druin said nothing as he was sentenced to 35 years in prison, something that the victim's family said did nothing for their pain. Look at me, Chris. You took my future away. You only being accountable today for his death. But you have taken the lives of so much more. Drew was also ordered to pay for the victim's funeral, funeral expenses and any counseling that Welsh's family will need. Reporting live, I'm Andy Hershberger, WMUR News 9.